Uh, yeah, um, EV update, to be fair, we're probably a little bit behind schedule. Um, we're still working to the same deadline. We're hoping to see the car roll out in May, uh, but we're all on the same page that we've uh, got to put in some big days and big hours between now and then to make that happen. Um, but engineering side, it's, it's, it's pretty well there. Um, the guys that keep working along some different componentry, uh, it's just the physical actual build of the car that's uh, a little bit behind schedule. Well, we will be the premium EV rally car. We've got that open open slate, so we're not really defined by any rules or regs. A car is still a car, if that makes sense. We just need to adapt what we already know um, to get it to work with an EV. Something that's very much our own and not can't be sort of seen to be simply copying what already exists. So on the agenda then, um, so for yourself, Mike, do you just want to focus, just do put out five solid days on the EV? I like to think that we're doing the best we can given our budget resources. You know, we, we have three engineers on the team, whereas the likes of a WRC team could have 60 plus. Right, so we've got the Kona EV body shell and um, we've, what we've done here is we've put it on the, a chassis machine and we've squared it all up, true it all up on the chassis machine. Yeah, so that's been zeroed. Uh, reason for that is we need to then um, build some jigs. Really pushing forward to get this chassis done. Um, so we have the suspension and um, battery mounting, and obviously then we, once all that's done, then we can start with the roll cage. As a motorsport business and effectively a marketing business is what we do with our partners and sponsors. We just can't sit on our hands and knees and wait for a car to be constructed and, and to be doing nothing. You know, we still got to be out there competing. And of course, you know, I still love driving, so I want to be driving as well. So it's tr trying to combine all those activities, which then becomes quite financially demanding. Uh, so we're here at Ashley Forest in uh, North Canterbury and uh, obviously uh, good uh, South Island weather. Looking forward to one of the most iconic rally sprints in the country.
tea with a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> 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 <laughs>and then when we get back from the events, we can feed them into our um, simulations, which calculate how much force um, is going through all these components in the EV. And then we can actually optimise the weight of those so that we don't end up with, th with components that are way too strong and way too heavy. How the car is actually going to be built, you know, the weight distribution is totally different. Just the overall weight is going to be different as well. Um, Hayden's got that specific driving style so he knows what he wants, what he likes, um, so we're trying to cater to that. Um, the, biggest, the biggest time factor or the thing that's taken us the longest has been developing the suspension geometry. So we have um, statistic, well, we have numbers essentially from the AP4 chassis as well as uh, an old WRC chassis. It's basically, it's basically one big jigsaw, like the whole jig system. Said, you know, do you want to do a, a one run at a testing day to, to see how my co-driving was going, just to give me some pointers and you know, help me out. From there on, he gave me an opportunity to do one rally with him in the following year, in 2019, um, and it ended up being Rally Whangarei. Yeah, so Samantha, the opportunity came up uh, through the Pinnacle program with Hyundai to, to have uh, more new and young co-drivers involved with us last season. Surprisingly, I wasn't that nervous. Um, didn't help that when we were going out to the first stage, it was thick fog. But, well, I'm short, I can't exactly see over the dash anyway, so fog, rain or shine, it makes no difference really. <laughs> But then what really surprised me is in that, uh, that transition period between the morning loop and the afternoon loop, we spoke about what was happening. I gave her a bit of constructive feedback and then the second pass, she was like a different co-driver, um, which for me was that light bulb moment that she was not only very intelligent, but two, she was able to actually put into action uh, what we talked about so quickly. Oh, it's been a great weekend, I um, really enjoyed the, um, the ride, it's been a great experience, I've learned so much. Um, can't thank Hayden and Hyundai and Pinnacle for this opportunity, it's been absolutely amazing, words can't describe it, thank you. So the Pinnacle program approached the uh, Otago Polytech where I studied and um, sent out an application for all the previous students. Um, so I applied and was lucky enough to be selected. So travelled up to Timaru for the weekend and hung out with the team and really got a, a taste of what um, the rally, like I don't want to say rally life. Um, so that year uh, Pinnacle brought one new technician to every rally that we were doing um, and they're all great young guys. It was great to see how buzzed they were about the opportunity. They all really um, took it by the scruff of their neck. When I got the uh, job proposal, I uh, showed my friend and he said, what are you waiting for? Just reply, take it. And I, I think I was almost in a sense of shock. Um, you know, this is a dream job for me. And um, seeing it right there in front of me was almost unbelievable. Um, and, you know, Ben was probably the one that stood out though. Um, he got in there, no matter how big or small or dirty the job was, he was just in there with full enthusiasm, like a kid in a lolly shop. And, um, so when it came to setting up this infrastructure here a year ago and we needed to employ some staff and, and we needed a young technician, um, 
Ben was the first name that came to my mind. And I, I guess the best thing about working here is working with like-minded people, people who are here to achieve the very best. I mean, surrounding yourself with excellence is the only way to sort of better yourself. Um, so I'm really enjoying learning off my peers and again, Hayden's a great, a great leader. Design wires, we're probably 90% there. Uh, car manufacturing wires, we're probably about 10% there. We're trying to, I guess, combine upcoming events with the normal cars and the normal team uh, with the construction of an EV car, so trying to juggle all that is uh, a big sort of logistic nightmare, if you like, but um, we're working through all the challenges. You know, we've got some very clever minds in our engineer office here. We've got four engineers now, and you know, I 100% trust what they're doing. And especially when you give young, um, enthusiastic, and very intelligent people a clean piece of paper, they're coming up with a lot of very good ideas that we haven't seen before. So that makes me actually very excited. Um, you know, even some of the things in this car we haven't even seen um, previously in a, in a WRC car. We've got all the main component trees now arrived from, uh, from Austria, so it's quite exciting seeing these very nice new shiny parts. It's a seven figure build to build this car. And then of course once we've got it built, then you need to find the budget to actually develop it as well. Um, you know, that on its own is what we expected, but the problem is when you combine it with our other activities. Mm -hmm.